JK King, DS for Windows Streamer Mode. Hello friends, I'm going to show you the new hidden DS for Windows that I've been editing. I managed to modify it correctly so that it can be hidden, editable, and not visible in the taskbar. Here, I executed Loader 1.4 I placed the hidden DS4 in the Loader 1.4 under the JK King Actions button. In the middle, the controller icon there allows you to click it once. The DS4 is hidden to bring it back on the screen. The tooltip description indicates that you should click it to show it again. I'll show you the taskbar so you can see the icons currently there before running the S4 Windows. Notice that there is no change when the S4 Windows is executed and it no longer appears in the taskbar when minimized. Previously, there was an invisible icon that, when you hovered over it, displayed the name DS for Windows and highlighted the invisible icon. That is now completely hidden. Let's go ahead and run it. And I'll continue to show you the taskbar to confirm that it's hidden. As you can see, it's perfectly hidden and not even the invisible icon is displayed. I'll also show you the task manager and search for the process list. I'll expand some processes to demonstrate that it's completely hidden. All right, here I'm showing you the task manager, the list of processes. Let's search for the DS for Windows process. I'm trying to create this tutorial with me as the narrator, but I might not fit the video's time constraints. Nonetheless, I hope to be a positive influence and demonstrate the results of my work to everyone in different languages. As you can see here in the list of processes, the DS for Windows process is no longer visible. I can expand any process to check if it's displayed, but even then, it remains hidden. Most importantly, DS for Windows can be edited. I mean that it's possible to remap and select the macro you prefer. When DS for Windows is minimized, it is completely hidden. To bring it back on the screen, simply click the controller icon in the middle. And as you can see, DS for Windows is back on our screen. This is it for today. This marks the beginning of my tutorials in English. I may not know English, but I'm looking for methods to be clear with everyone. I hope you like my work. Until next time.